this extrajudicial means of removing people from the ballot is catastrophic to our country if it's allowed to continue. Because if Democrats can do it, you know that Republicans will do it. And if Republicans well, will do it, then Democrats point, will do it more. To, to that point, Secretary, in order to remove President Biden from the ballot, according to your state constitution, you would need to go to court. What do you think would be your strongest no, not argument? At all. Not, not no, not at all. If your you state constitution what, actually Hunter, states that the Secretary of State lacks authority to assess qualifications of a candidate to determine whether to place a candidate's name on a primary ballot. That's according to section sir, sir, 115.387 of your state constitution. Sir. What's up everybody, Major Retired Richard Ojeda here. And what did Joe Biden do in your mind that equates to insurrection? What allegations are you talking about? Missouri Secretary of State Jay Ashcroft joined CNN's Boris Sanchez recently for an interview that just couldn't seem to get out of first gear. What I'm saying is, if the Supreme Court upholds the ruling out of Colorado and what Which happened went to in court Colorado, to disqualify Donald Trump from the ballot. So you, according sir, to your state not constitution, listening. would need to sir, go to court. Sir, sir, let's just be clear. First of sure. all, you've already said you're not an attorney and you don't know what happened in Colorado. I was happy I know to what happened in Colorado, that. sir. What I said was that I didn't read through all of the evidence specifically to be able to qualify whether there was hearsay or not. To get back to my question, you well, said that, that you would process. decide to remove Joe Biden from the ballot in your state. According to your state constitution, which I just read to you from, it says you need to go to court. I'm asking you what you think your strongest argument is. Ashcroft started out by saying that what was happening in Colorado and Maine is disgraceful and undermines our republic. He was referring to a Colorado court ruling that found Donald Trump guilty of insurrection under the 14th Amendment, Section 3 of our Constitution. Colorado was the first state to remove Donald from their ballot. Maine followed suit and other states were close behind. And I continue to try to answer your questions and you continue to try to tell me stuff that just isn't true. That's and not here's factual, the sir. You, ma you made an accusation here, about me not knowing something. I'm trying to clarify it for you. You can choose here, to answer the well, question or just continue deflecting. What is the strongest argument you would make in court to I, remove Joe Biden from the ballot? Go. This situation spelled certain doom for Donald's campaign and his legal team petitioned the Supreme Court for a ruling. Donald Trump is the first president to incite an insurrection against the United States and the first to be removed from a state's ballot as an insurrectionist. Whether or not the conservative-leaning court will allow the states to make their own decisions remains to be seen. States' rights are definitely in the crosshairs. I'm sure the Supreme Court will settle whether you can remove someone from the ballot or, or not or, or potentially give guidance on that. I'm wondering, though, what would then be your justification for removing Joe Biden from the ballot in Missouri? Has he engaged, in your mind, in some kind of insurrection? Uh, there have been allegations that he's engaged in insurrection. How so? And all there have... No. Please let me finish. There have only been you allegations. You can't say something like that and not back it up. What, what do you mean? I am continuing, but you interrupted me before I could back it up. Go ahead, Are you sir. scared of the truth? Oh, let I'm not terrified of the truth at all. It seems like you there might be. Let's been, see what you have to say. There have only been allegations against what allegations? President Trump. What allegations? President Trump has never been... Um, uh, Adjudicated sure. in a court of law what did Joe Biden do in your mind that equates insurrection? What allegations are you talking about? Um, I have I have seen allegations from the lieutenant governor of Texas that has said that the that uh, Joe Biden has has uh, has in, in, uh, uh, been part of insurrection or rebellion. We've seen the president. Uh, sorry, the governor of Florida say the same thing. Insurrection over what? what? What did the governor of Texas say that, that Joe Biden was causing an insurrection over? If you're going to make the I, claim, give me, give me some specifics. Are you just going to oh, cite no, wait, the wait governor minute, of Texas minute. or Florida and not actually say what they are arguing? Do you know what they're arguing? Remember when Donald Trump deflected responsibility during the COVID pandemic? He put the blame square on the shoulders of the states, saying that it was the state's responsibility to respond accordingly. Now he has flipped on that stance because it no longer benefits him. Donald's legal team have tried every angle to get him a free pass for his actions. They have tried to say that the January 6th speech that incited rioters was protected speech. They are trying to say that it's okay for Donald Trump to yell fire in a crowded theater because he's got immunity from prosecution. This is an extremely weak argument, but one that they have doubled down on.
GOP extremists like Ashcroft are trying to say that if Donald Trump is found to be ineligible from state's ballots, that they will impeach Joe Biden for insurrection. When Boris Sanchez confronted Ashcroft over this and asked him what Joe Biden has done that would warrant such extreme measures, Ashcroft stumbled badly. The truth is that jackaloons like Jay Ashcroft don't have anything to back up their outrageous allegations. They can't accept the fact that Donald Trump is a con man and a criminal. As long as they stay on the surface, these GOP clowns talk a big game. But as soon as factual-based questioning starts, they stumble badly. Jay Ashcroft is no exception, and he is in a position to be as useful idiot for Donald Trump. Jay Ashcroft got schooled by Boris Sanchez, and it was good to see. Unfortunately, admitting the possibility of being wrong is not in Ashcroft's way of thinking. Jay Ashcroft is a Trump bootlicker and a spineless worm, and that is an absolute fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.